Hi, I'm Jackie Glazier, and I'm the clarinet professor at the University of Arizona. I'm going to teach you a quick voicing exercise that will help you be band ready for music this coming year. Control and good sound in the upper register of the clarinet is difficult to achieve, especially when we're articulating. I recommend practicing voicing exercises to help learn what you need to do with your tongue position, your airspeed, and the shape of your mouth to improve the sound quality and articulation in this register. I'm gonna teach you a couple exercises and they're gonna get progressively more difficult. So feel free to start at wherever your level is and just practice this exercise for a few minutes each day um, to see if you can improve and get to the more difficult levels. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, play a high C and then we're gonna let go of the register key as we're holding out the high C. It's gonna drop an intonation. That's not really a problem. We're just trying to see if we can continue to hold the note with a good sound as we diminuendo. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and work my way down chromatically. So I'll do it next on a high B. After that, I'll go to B flat and then A and then G. And this has helped me work that upper clarion register of the clarinet. If you wanna make it more challenging, see how soft you can get without the lower subtone, the lower partial fundamental note creeping in. You'll start to hear it, it'll sound like this. Right, that's when we start to lose the note and get the fundamental. So we're trying to control our voicing to stay up at the higher pitch. This is gonna help make things a lot easier when we're actually playing with the register key. The second step is to do the same thing and then try to articulate. You wanna make sure that you're using a legato tongue and keeping your air going, very, very light pressure with your tongue. And again, we're trying to see if we can prevent that subtone or lower fundamental from speaking. So I'll start on high C again. And the same thing, I'll work my way down chromatically as far as I feel comfortable. This exercise gets more difficult the lower we go in the clarion register. Once you've practiced those two steps, the third and more fun step is to see if you can actually switch between the partials without using the key. So what I'm gonna do is start on a nice throat tone F, and then I'm gonna tongue, that's very important, and try to see if I can change my voicing enough to get the C out without using the key. So I'm not changing my fingering at all, I'm just changing my voicing. And the idea is that I'm developing this control and flexibility over the clarinet. If I can do that, then playing a high C with the correct fingering is gonna be very easy. Once you get good at this exercise, you can do it progressively as you go down. Eventually you wanna be able to do this. Etc. And you can go down as far as you feel comfortable. If you have trouble, getting out the, harp, the, the higher partial or overblowing, it's very helpful if you can sing the pitch you're supposed to play. So see, I'm having trouble getting that C out. I'm gonna sing the high C. See, there's a big connection between singing and voicing. The more that we can hear the pitch in our head, the more we know where to aim. That can be very helpful. Another thing that will really help if you're having trouble getting it out would be to use a drone on your tuner on that pitch so that you have something to listen for, for your ears to match. I hope you have fun with this voicing exercise. It should make articulating in the upper register and 
just sounding better up there a lot easier.